Beyonce is the hottest artist on the world stage in 2013. She followed up her lip-syncing scandal at President Barack Obama's inauguration with a spellbinding performance at the 2013 Super Bowl. During Beyonce's Super Bowl appearance, the Twitter universe lit up with people claiming that Beyonce was flashing the Illuminati or Devil's Triangle. The concern was so great that mainstream media outlets tried to explain it away as simply a reference to her husband Jay-Z's record company. Of course, this simplistic approach ignored the fact that Jay-Z and Beyonce are aware that the symbol has a layered meaning and occultic or Luciferian connotations. In fact, they are not only aware of this, but as you can see, Beyonce's husband Jay-Z promotes the occult aspect of the Eye of Horus and the Triangle through his rock-aware apparel. Sadly, countless young people are wearing the Eye of Horus and have been introduced to the darkest of occult symbology through Jay-Z and his rock -aware empire. Here we see a shot of a ritual of the Order of the Temple of Astarte, a chartered Crowleyan organization which admittedly contacts demons in their rituals using the same symbol that Jay-Z, Beyonce and so many others are using. Here we also see Satanist Anton LaVey who wrote the Satanic Bible and started the Church of Satan using the Eye of Horus or the Triangle symbol in his Satanic rituals. Here we see Satanist Aleister Crowley who promoted the sacrifice of innocent children and who signed his name the Beast 666 wearing the Eye of Horus in the Triangle, one of the main symbols for the Age of Horus and the coming reign of Antichrist. Crowley's favorite Antichrist maxim was, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Do what thou wilt as opposed to doing God's will became the backbone of Crowleyanity. Here we see Jay-Z with do what thou wilt emblazoned across one of his shirts. Notice also next to Lester Crowley is a book with a circle and a pentagram on the front cover. One of the most basic symbols used in the occult and Satanism to contact demonic beings as a sphere of receptivity to Satan and demonic forces often resulting in demonic possession. Jay-Z, Beyonce's husband, knows what it means to be possessed by spirits as he admits here claiming that he is a modern day Frank Sinatra and that he is possessed by spirits. I feel like, you know, Sinatra. You know, I'm, in my time, you know, my day Sinatra, so, you know, I'm trying to live up to that, you know. I get possessed by, by the spirits. I get possessed by, by the spirits. When we understand how the circle and pentagram are used at times in the occult and Satanism and take a closer look at Beyonce's Super Bowl performance, it becomes even more chilling. Near the beginning of her performance, we see Beyonce fall to the ground into what becomes a circle of light. It's interesting that after Beyonce lies down in the circle, we then see appear an inverted pentagram. The inverted pentagram in Satanism often signifies the goat-headed depiction of Satan himself. And here we see Beyonce with the inverted pentagram with the goat-headed Baphomet when she introduced the spirit of Sasha Fierce, who she claimed possessed her. Here we see the goat-headed satanic Baphomet on Beyonce's ring. And here we see at Beyonce's Super Bowl appearance, one of her dancers adorned with an upside down pentagram worked into her apparel. Beyonce entering the circle with the inverted pentagram appears to be her way of signaling that she's allowing the spirit named Sasha Fierce, the entity that she claimed possesses her and channels her during performances to take control of her body. Beyonce has even worked Sasha Fierce into her wardrobe. The Daily Mail described her Super Bowl outfit as quote fierce and sexy, which was fitting for the entity Sasha Fierce. The man behind the design, Ruben Singer, says his creation of Beyonce was inspired by female warrior gods in Norse mythology. Incredibly, you can see what appears to be the goat-headed satanic Baphomet worked into Beyonce's bizarre attire. Later in Beyonce's Super Bowl performance, we see Beyonce represented by the Hindu goddess Kali. Kali is often associated with darkness and death and depicting with the bloody heads on a necklace of her slain. Kali is a fitting image for Sasha Fierce as she is a counterpart of Shiva, the god of destruction. Beyonce also employs the Gemini twins, seen taking up a huge part of the stage. In Babylonian mythology, the Gemini twins represented, quote, the god of plague and pestilence, who was king of the underworld, end quote. It may be that what Beyonce is depicting in the Gemini symbols, which resemble her, is a spiritual synthesis with Sasha Fierce, which would signify full-blown demonic possession. Beyonce has admitted in the past that she looked forward to the time when her and Sasha Fierce would be indistinguishable. Beyonce has expressed her desire to communicate the vibe of spirit possession in her music. She claims that she even wants a whole video to feel possessed. I want to be so wild, almost possessed. 
And I want the whole video to feel possessed. I want the whole video to feel possessed. Beyonce may have found more than she bargained for and ended up getting possessed by a spirit. Rolling Stone stated in one article on Beyonce, quote, a woman possessed, Beyonce is gripped by a spirit so powerful it even has a name, Sasha, end quote. Beyonce said in an extra interview, quote, I think Sasha Fierce is part of me. That's why the name of the album was I Am Sasha Fierce. She goes on to say, she lives within me. I think Sasha Fierce is a part of me. That's why the name of the album was I Am Sasha Fierce, because it's all the same. She lives within. Beyonce claims that she is typically more reserved and cannot sing with as much power. But when this spirit entity possessed her body, it energized her vocal ability and caused her performances to skyrocket. I'm really kind of shy and not really shy, but more reserved and um, nothing like Sasha. But I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on the stage. So Sasha comes out <laughs> and she's fearless. You know, she can she can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, I can try, but then it just doesn't happen. I can sing notes and sing strong and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, I can't do. And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up. And it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me, felt something else come into me. Strangely, Beyonce in the past has depicted herself on stage as picking up a coin with the image of her face on one side and the image of Sasha Fierce on the other. When flipping the coin, if it comes up Sasha Fierce, she then allows the spirit entity of Sasha to take control of her body. Beyonce appears to be possessed by an evil and perverted spirit of harlotry. Apparently, the spirit entity Sasha Fierce leads her into perverse and raunchy sexual behavior that Beyonce would never do if not under Sasha Fierce's diabolical influence. Beyonce has admitted, quote, When I see a video of myself on stage or TV, I'm like, who is that girl? That's not me. I wouldn't dare do that. And I wouldn't like Sasha if I met her off stage, end quote. This demonic entity is more than some alter ego, but a spirit that possesses Beyonce's body. In fact, Beyonce seems to black out and be unconscious of her body when this evil spirit takes control. She describes it this way, quote, I have out-of-body experiences. If I cut my leg, if I fall, I don't even feel it. I'm so fearless. I'm not aware of my face or my body, end quote. Beyonce says, quote, it's like a blackout. When I'm on stage, I don't know what the blank happens. I am gone, end quote. She has said recently, quote, I'm more powerful than my mind can even digest and understand, end quote. Notice in Beyonce's Super Bowl appearance that as she's emerging from the circle with the inverted pentagram, her face becomes distorted, as though she has now given her body over to the spirit she identified elsewhere as Sasha Fierce. Here we see that the normally sweet appearing Beyonce now looks like a different person, more like a man than a woman. Throughout the rest of her Super Bowl performance, Sasha Fierce's mean man face will appear as much as Beyonce's. Beyonce has admitted that this spirit is not a friendly spirit, hence the name Fierce. Of course, God's word, the Bible, reveals that when it comes to fallen angels, only demonic entities possess human beings. From the time she enters the circle with the pentagram, Beyonce's face morphs repeatedly into a demonic and evil sneer. So horrific were many of the faces that Beyonce manifested that her publicist told BuzzFeed that they wanted them to remove pictures that they considered unflattering to Beyonce, some of which you are seeing here. Satan's desire has always been to be worshipped in place of God the Creator. In Isaiah chapter 14, we read that Satan wanted to be like the Most High God and wanted to exalt his throne above the stars of God. In Matthew chapter 4, Satan asked Jesus to bow down and worship him. Jesus responded and said, Get behind me, Satan. It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and serve him only. Sadly, this is ultimately what Satan and the demonic realm want. Here we see Beyonce, or Sasha Fierce, give the creepy request of asking the crowd to reach out to her so she could feel their energy. Everybody put your hands towards me. Everybody, I'm gonna feel your energy. Wave your hands with me, come on. Tragically, the crowd is clueless as to who they are praising. May God help us to wake up to the fact that his word declares that we are not wrestling against mere flesh and blood, but against Satan and the demonic spirit hierarchy that are hell bent on bringing as many people to the lake of fire with them as they can. While Satan wants your soul damned, please understand that God loves you and states that he does not want you to perish and go to hell. God's will is that all would be saved and come to repentance and turning from a life of sin and rebellion against God to salvation in Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ created you and gives you the choice of eternal life or eternal damnation. He's the only one who paid for your sins against God on the cross, and you must either accept his death on your behalf or choose to pay for your sins and be eternally separated from Christ in the lake of fire. We hope and pray that you'd make the wise choice and choose life rather than eternal damnation. May God open our eyes and give us the power to resist and reject the temptations of popular artists and renounce the evil works of darkness and to give Him the praise and glory that He alone deserves. Thanks for viewing this expose. I hope it was helpful and God bless.